Hello, this is Ola. I will show you how to can create um, not only Disney characters like this, but how to create Disney characters of your own pictures. So first you need to go into the Modi Diffusion, which I will link in the description of this video. Uh, and then you have to find under files and versions the Modi V1 pruned. So download that and put it in your models folder inside Stable Diffusion. Then reload your models with this uh, refresh button up here by the model dropdown. Then you should see it here, Modi pruned. So then it's installed. Go back to the README. Um, you will see some examples of what you can create. Uh, test your model. Uh, modern Disney that's kind of the trigger word and we want to create Lara Croft so my tip to you at first copy this modern Disney paste it in here and then uh, put the save button over here below generate and then call it modern Disney and then uh, modi v1 then press OK. So when you've done that, press the reload over here by below the generate. You will find it here. So then you can use this style. You don't have to have modern Disney over here. So then you can actually remove the modern Disney. And then we can test Lara Croft will be our keyword. Steps 50 and the seed over here, Lara Croft, steps 50, the sampling steps, and copy this seed, so paste it in here, generate. Then we should see Lara Croft coming over here, and here she is. Yeah, that's a quite a nice picture, if I should say so myself. Uh, Unfortunately, I can't take any credit for it because I didn't create this model. It was Nitro Sock. Uh, sorry for how I pronounce your nick, but um, I did my best. But I will link this in the description. Uh, so, but my next step, take a picture of yourself, copy it in the clipboard, uh, control C or right click and copy in stable diffusion um, so now I recommend to reload the entire page here just so we don't have anything left over from text to image tab here just reload it go to img to img and do the ctrl v or shift insert or on a mac it will be cmd uh, and v command v so now we need this to be in mode IV1 pruned, stable diffusion checkpoint. And uh, drop down, style, go for modern mode, modern Disney style. Yeah, this one. So, and we need 50 steps as earlier. Uh, no, now we don't need the seed earlier. That's a seed is uh, something you get out from a picture you're happy with. So if I click generate here, then we will see uh, a result here, right? So it actually, it looks kind of cool, I guess, but it doesn't really resemble my image that much. The background does go up in the same kind of angle here, but it, it's just rocks and the, these clothes aren't really that much like mine. So. But if I was really happy with this, I could copy out this seed down here uh, and I could share this as a recipe, right? Or, or use it for generating this image again. Um, but for now, I'm thinking like uh, I want this to resemble my picture more. So uh, this is where a neat trick comes in. Go down to script, choose img to img, alternative test. Uh, and we leave override sampling method to Euler on. Uh, I turn off override prompt uh, because 
I want to use these prompts since they are close to the generate. Um, and I took take off override sampling steps, but it is really set to 50 up here sampling steps. So it doesn't really matter. I just like to control more stuff up here in the top. So uh, I turn off override denoising strength, but I turn on sigma adjustment for finding noise in image. So I keep override sampling method and turn on sigma adjustment and the other ones are off. Go back up and generate. Um, now it's uh, using the noise to find my picture better. So now it's uh, resembling much more like in a background. It's got some green hair and some rocks and, and the shirt looks quite similar. Uh, the jacket resembles more. Um, my hair is even uh, better, I guess. Maybe it's 10 years ago. Um, it's He looks quite shaved also. So we can add some uh, maybe some uh, short beard maybe up here in the prompt. Click the generate again. So yeah, now it's a much better style here. And we can of course also play with this override sampling method. Turn it off again. Uh, but I prefer having it on. I think it gives uh, a better look. Um, but if I now I turn it off, we will see. And these are not bad images by any mean, but um, it looks like a good image, but it kind of doesn't look like my image. So if I turn it back on and now, we'll see. Uh, uh, here it's sampling method. Yeah, I'll generate again. So this is kind of much more realistic, right? I think so. Short beard, uh, smile. I think it needs to smile a bit more. We'll do this maybe. Oh, that's a bit freaky. <laughs> but look, I think the image looks looks quite cool. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you like this uh, tip. Thanks for uh, your time. Bye bye.